Hi everyone, this is Derek Williams with 3Link Consulting and this is The Triple Up. In my last video, I ran down the top 10 things that are killing your motivation, the things that are preventing you from getting motivated and staying motivated. If you haven't already checked out that video, make sure you go back and check it out because it ties into this one really well. It's only eight minutes and super informative. And for those that have seen the video, I'm sorry, but no shots this time, so you can put all that away. In the last video, I wanted to make sure that we called out these motivational killers. That way we know how to spot them because you know, a hater hates when a hater can't hide. These motivation haters, they lose their power when they're exposed, so I wanted to draw attention to them in the first one. Now, let's draw attention to the things that we can do to stay more motivated. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's it. I mean, that's I promise that's all. Just like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Whether you're at the beginning or well down the road of building a better life, this video is going to arm you with the actual things you can do right now to harness the power of your personal motivation. Is that powerful enough? Am I bringing it? I mean, you feeling that? Like anyone else, I have a story of struggle to success, and I won't bore you with the details. I was not the smartest, and I wasn't armed with the most resources. So what I had was my motivation. The one thing that was always there for me that I could rely on was mastering my motivation. So I leaned in on that, and that made me an expert in the field of motivation. So I hope you tune in, and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get to number one. The first thing you need to do if you want to feel more motivated is you need to find a reason. Set a goal that really matters to you. If you don't first start by setting the right goal, then you're gonna bend or break at the first sign of any challenge that comes your way. You're not gonna stay motivated for something that you're not truly inspired by. Your energy is gonna escape you. You're gonna get distracted super easily. To be able to stay in the pocket and take those hits, you really gotta want that shit. Number two is information control. Everybody has a flow of information coming at them and that information can either be inspiring to you and feed you or it can be a distraction and kind of a road at your motivation. So when it comes to social media, I want you to stop following garbage and start following things that feed you. Train the algorithm, don't let the algorithm train you. And with Netflix, it's the same thing. You have a choice, you can watch some of the drama filled things or you can find things that maybe they're a little bit more inspiring, educational, you guys know this already. Another area of information control that I want you guys to be really mindful of, that's the music you listen to. Real talk, I like rap and I know a lot of people who are watching this video might like rap too. Man, to be honest, I like all forms of rap music. The stuff that I most connect with is that motivational rap. You know what I'm talking about. E-40, Young Jeezy, Meek Mill, Big Sean, and of course, Nipsey Hussle. How can I listen to Soul Survivor by Young Jeezy and not get inspired by that shit? How can I listen to Hustle in the House by Nipsey and not feel on top of the world? We all know that music motivates. If you're using the right music, if you're listening to the right music, then you're going to be able to feel your soul and feel your levels of motivation. Feeding your mind with the right stuff is a really good start, but... At the end of the day, the real battle is in mastering your ability to control your thoughts. A lot of people like to talk about emotional intelligence in this area, but what I'm going to do is I'm walk you through a few things that I like to do to help control my mind. The first thing I like to do to kind of regain control over my thoughts is get some quiet time. Meditation, prayer, it could just be laying on the couch with everything off and your head laid back with your mind at ease and trying to just rest your head. One thing I like to do on long road trips is I like to ride without the music on. It allows me to kind of get alone with my thoughts a little bit. It's a tangible way for me to regain control over what I'm thinking about. Uh, I can just clear my mind and think about my drive or I might be thinking be deep in thought about work or something else. I'm being conscious about thinking. A really big one for my control is positive affirmations and positive self-talk. The last thing I wanted to point out in terms of my control is making wiser decisions. Every day we're presented with a magnitude of opportunities to make different choices. Every time you're presented with a decision that's even remotely meaningful, Take a step back and do a triple check. Make sure you're making decisions that are gonna put you on a path to what you're trying to achieve. Make sure every decision you make throughout the day, I don't care how small it is, is putting you on a path of success. Whether it's what you put in your mouth, or you put in your brain, or the people that you put around you, make sure you're cognizant about all those decisions because they will impact your ability to achieve that goal and how fast that goal might be actualized in your life. Number four on the list of things that you can do to feel more motivated 
is to be more mindful of the things that you're putting in your body. It's important that you make a connection between what you put in your body and how motivated you. Now, I'm by no means a nutritionist. I don't even have the best diet, quite frankly. Late at night, I get those munchies and everything out the window. But here's a couple of things to keep in mind and a couple of things that I try to practice. Number one, eat breakfast. Anybody that knows me really well knows that I'm an oatmeal junkie. Every morning, light clockwork, whether at the office or at home, I'm having my oatmeal, a little bit of honey, maybe a banana, a protein shake, but I'm on point with having that oatmeal every morning just to kind of make sure I feel that energy right in the morning. I used to go years uh, without eating breakfast. It would just be coffee in the morning, straight to the office, power of hour, all those things without putting anything in my stomach. One thing that I've been trying to get better at control under is my sugar intake. Diets that are high in sugar and high in caffeine lead to straight mood swings. And then like we talked about in the last video, mood swings really impact your ability to stay motivated. I know a lot of you out there are on that keto diet these days and that's good for you, but for the rest of us, eat those carbs, baby. When you eat carbs, especially chocolate, your brain releases a chemical that we talked about in the last video and that's called serotonin. That's one of those happy hormones. Now, the fifth thing that you can do to feel more motivated is to be prepared. When you know your shit and you're well prepared and you've practiced, you've put the time in, you're going to feel confident and that's going to generate loads of motivation. Number six on today's list is get some rest and get some sun. It's been proven that our brains release serotonin when we get enough sunlight. It only takes about 15, 20 minutes of sunlight to start feeling that happy juice come along. Number seven is straightforward. Get around positive, encouraging, inspiring people. Get around people that challenge you to be better. Get around people who are going places just like you. And remember, you are who you hang with. Number eight on today's list of things you can do to feel more motivated, join a team or build a team. Working together as a group toward a common goal will breed camaraderie. Camaraderie is pretty fucking inspiring to me. When I'm around my boys, when I'm around a group of people that I get fired up amongst, it just multiplies. Something that people have heard me say a million times is teamwork makes the dream work. So speaking of camaraderie, I'm trying to get to 100 subs as soon as possible. So can you help a brother out? Go ahead and click that subscribe button real quick. Thanks. Okay, we have two more to cover. And number nine is make some progress. Progress in any area of life will fuel your motivation. And continuous doses of motivation, even small doses, will sort of set your motivation on autopilot. This is where good daily habits come in. Something that's key about making progress is getting organized. When things aren't jumbled around our head, it makes room for us to be more focused. So here's what I want everybody to do. I want you to stop right now, go to the Notes app on your phone, and start making lists of all the things that you need to tackle in your life. And start categorizing things. Start compartmentalizing these areas and these lists. And when you have these lists organized, you'll see how easy it is to start taking action. Also, in terms of making progress, this is where big becomes bad. You need to make sure that you're setting attainable goals, goals that line up with your bigger goals, things that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that will better position you and set you up for success. Okay, now that sets us up perfectly for number 10. And it's one of my favorites, if not my very favorite, and that is... That's right, working out. We just talked about making progress and how important that is to stay motivated. And I don't know about you, but I love making progress in the area of fitness, getting stronger, getting more defined, whatever your goal might be. Working out is, for me, the fundamental key, the underpinning element that helps me stay motivated. No matter what I'm dealing with in life, if I'm feeling anxious, if I'm feeling depressed, whatever it is, I counteract those negative chemicals with more dopamine, more endorphins, more serotonin by working out. And working out is a great reward mechanism. As you make subtle progress towards your goal, it helps fuel more motivation. And I think everybody loves the confidence boost that comes from working out as well. And that feeds directly into that motivation. <laughs> I'm out. In my next video, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I had somebody hit me up on IG, asked me to cover how I might deal with uh, failure. And I kind of consider myself an expert in this field, so make sure you tune into that video. If you liked this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's it. I'm only asking you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get it.